guys welcome to my channel uh, I know a lot of you are new here so welcome thank you for coming to check me out and subscribing and to the ones who are not new here hi again thank you for coming back um, I'm just gonna do a quick Dollar Tree haul um, it has been a crazy week my daughter um, had her recital this week and we are just coming down from it. Um, and then I've got my recital next week because for anyone new here, you guys probably don't know that I dance as well. Um, and so I have my recital coming up. So I am going to share this. Um, I didn't even try to look nice. I'm tired. It's been a long day, a long week. So it is what it is. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the bag, which I saw at Andrea Hall, and I thought it was so stinking cute. And I actually didn't see that any of my stores, and then I saw it like on this end cap, um, kind of hidden, and I just love it. So I just had them put everything in that bag because I despise plastic bags. I hate them. They get in the way. I don't like them at all. Um, this is the second thing. <laughs> I got two of these. One of them had stars and a red cap, and then this has, like, little trucks on it for the 4th of July. Um, it's being used. Me and my daughter used them for her recital last night. Um, and then my two-year-old took it, and I don't know if you can see this from this far back, but she chewed on the straw. <laughs> So the straw's all pinched together. That should be fun to fix. All right. Next thing is I got this little marker board. I actually got a pink one with trolls on it that I just threw onto my bed. I had planned on showing it, but I don't want to get up and get it. So um, this one has dinosaurs. She's two and she loves dinosaurs. Now I'm realizing this is probably not the best purchase I've made because she is two. Um, I have like the like magnet, no paper, no pen boards, whatever they are. Um, not magnet doodles, but these ones are like boogie boards. We have boogie boards and she loves them, but I was in a hurry for the recital last night and I was thinking this would be a good thing to throw in the diaper bag. Um, but it does not have the piece that attaches the marker anymore. and. It is a marker, it's a dry erase marker, but a two year old can get it everywhere. And I've already lost, or well, she's already lost the marker um, to the other ones. So there's a marker laying around my house some more. All right, I picked this up. I don't really like the print, but I couldn't find any others. Um, and I just thought this would be handy to have for my two year old daughter. Um, I'm kind of rethinking that with the straw. I might need to get a different type of straw after what she's done to the straw on mine. So I've got that. And this has little seashells. And I am actually in my room. Um, I just painted last weekend. So it's a different color and I've got my desk set up. So the lighting that might not be great. So I apologize for that. Um, and you'll probably hear my kids screaming. My boys are playing in the living room very, very loudly. And they're calling me already. So then the next thing I got was these alphabet flashcards. And I just want to um, work on those with my five, almost six year old. Um, he is starting kindergarten in the fall and just something fun we could do together. And then I found this pink flamingo lip gloss. It's not something that I will use, but I could definitely give it as a gift to my daughter or um, really to anybody. It's super cute. So, and now I'm kind of obsessed because of Andrea and her pink chickens. <laughs> so I had to pick this up. Okay. I bought four of these. These are paper trays and they are 4th of July paper trays. Super cute. We have people over for 4th of July at our house and the less dishes that I can do, the better. So, I mean, they're cute. All right. 
And right along with that, um, these are not in the package anymore because I um, already took them out, not to use them. These are little hot dog trays. They're not all squished up like they were before, but they're to put a hot dog in. Um, and they're the same um, print for the 4th of July. I love the trucks. Um, I plan to craft with them, so I've already had one being flattened for several days. I don't know what the craft is I'm going to do, but I'm going to craft with it. And then I'll let you know because I actually have a video um, of different compilations of crafts I've made with some of my stuff. And I will post that oh, sometime soon, probably. <laughs> All right. The next thing I bought was these curlers and I bought four packs of them. As you can see, I only have two because I already opened two. Um, growing up, these were the curlers that my mother would put in my hair before I went to bed the night before picture day or something. And I would wake up looking like Shirley Temple. Um, I needed to do my daughter's hair for recital and I cannot use a curling iron worth a darn. I don't use one on myself. I don't use it on other people. I straighten my hair and that is it. Um, and every time I try to use curling iron, it is a disaster. So I thought maybe we could do these, but we did not have enough time. So when we got there and took the rollers out, her hair just fell and we ended up doing a braided bun for her recital, which turned out perfect actually. So that is why I bought these. I don't know what I'll do with these, but I don't know, maybe someday I'll play around and try to use them on my hair. I don't know, I have a lot of hair. All right, this one's probably gonna be hard to see. These are the foldable fans. Let me see if I can get that closer. And I just got these because they are the same print as like the bag kind of. One of them has like ice cream treats and popsicles and one has stars and one has the same print as the, like the hot dog trays and the paper trays. Let me see if I can put it up one more time. And um, these are really cute for the 4th of July. Uh, I live in Nebraska and it is super hot and we have ridiculous humidity. So uh, those are nice to have. Okay, I'm tired of leaning over, so I'm going to pick this up and put it I picked up a package of Huggies wipes because I always need baby wipes. I have a child in diapers, so <laughs> just uh, an extra to have. Okay, as I said before, my daughter is two and she is obsessed with dinosaurs. She loves dinosaurs. And so I have a couple of the other ones of these, but I found these two and I'm just going to put them in her little dinosaur pouch that I keep in the diaper bag. And these ones are from oh, the Jurassic World series and she <laughs> watches a Jurassic World cartoon on a daily basis. So she loves these. It is really hard for me to let this stuff sit. I bought all this yesterday and it's really hard to let it sit in a bag until I can get to it for a video. <laughs> it is really difficult for me because I want to get home and I want to take it out of the packaging, get the packaging thrown away, give each person what I bought them and get it put away. And I couldn't do that yesterday because I didn't have time, but I did today. So. Um, I got this little drawer. It's a little like plastic acrylic. I don't know. It's a clear drawer. And I had actually picked up two, but the one I, other one I picked up, um, was cracked on the top and I just took it as a sign to just buy one and try it out. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. Um, maybe some crayons for my daughter. She hates when her crayons get all scattered and she's trying to color. Um, so I'm going to try it out and see how I like it before I buy any more. They have an abundance of these, so I'm not too worried about it if I do like them. And they're stackable. Um, okay, this they just threw in for, for free, so it's just um, 
dollar tree pad and then I got this wire brush set um, for my husband we always seem to need one when we're working on the cars or I don't know he needs it for stuff so I just got him one I did get some sticky notes I do not use these for writing generally this is actually um, kind of a hack I am going to be potty training my two-year-old and the public toilets that flush by themselves have a sensor so these are just to cover that sensor so it doesn't flush and scare my daughter so that is why i've got those so they'll be going in my potty training um my potty training pouch whatever i keep my bag so that's the plan with those um i feel like i'm forgetting something besides what's in here but okay the last two things i found are these Vaseline chapsticks. Um, I have a really like strict, not strict, but it's a routine that I follow every night that I never skip. Like, you know, your normal cleaning your face or brushing your teeth. I always brush my teeth and um, I probably don't use face cleaner like I should, but uh, it doesn't seem to be like a huge issue. So, um, but I brush my teeth always right before I go to bed and it could be two o'clock in the morning and I get up and I brush my teeth and I put lotion on my hands and my feet <laughs> and then I do chopstick right before I go to bed. Always. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just a habit that I started doing a long time ago and I saw this one. Um, Vaseline is like really great for chopstick uses and then I saw it in a tube and I was like, hey, and then they had one that's rosy lips and I love tinted lip balm. I use a lot of it more than I use lipsticks or lip glosses. So I got these. So making sure there's nothing else. Nope, I think that's it. Okay, well, sorry. I know I was like, like this some of the time. I'm really tired. It has been a really busy week and I'm ready to relax finally. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get back to the dollar store here pretty soon. And I'm going to put together, well, I've got a couple of clips already, but I'm gonna to put together um, a video of my crafts that I've been able to do with my Dollar Tree um, items. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you all have a great day.